Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I'm Bertrand La Chapelle from France. Um, a few points rapidly. First of all, to express that in all the discussions we had among the European Union members, uh, we all agreed that we wanted to express a very, very strong support, not only for the IGF and the Secretariat, but for the process that has been going on for the last three years. Uh, because fundamentally, it is the uh, unique global multi-stakeholder space to discuss Internet governance. There are many other entities that discuss those issues, but this is the main watering hole where every year we have the opportunity to share among ourselves. Uh, a few concrete suggestions regarding what happened this week. The first thing is that the new format that uh, was decided for this year for the main sessions um, had basically two benefits. The first thing that the, two, the three tracks, the three teams, were really helping to get together issues that were previously treated separately and brought dynamism, in particular in the second day, where the different issues were responding one to the other and bringing security, privacy, openness, and all this together in the afternoon. Uh, the second element is that um, the format of the uh, main room and the, and the panels was clearly bringing more benefit to the people as we can judge for the attendance, so much so that this year we almost have, for next year, a problem of articulating the spaces, whereas last year we were afraid that the main sessions would be empty. So it's a progress. The main thing I wanted, the second point I wanted to make is that in choosing the three tracks, we have actually done something that is very hard to accomplish in traditional international organizations, which is reclustering of the issue and making it an evolving agenda. If you look at the structure of the themes between Athens, Rio, and this year, it has evolved. We have regrouped some subjects. We have organized it in a different way. For those who participated in September, to the discussion on how to organize the follow-up to the WISIS, we are rigidly bound to the action lines. And these action lines are a negotiated text that we cannot touch without reopening the whole box. It is a major distinction. This capacity to have an evolving agenda should be used as much as possible based on the emerging issues session as well. Second point about the maturity of issues. The IGF should allow issues to move from the mapping stage, where we explore the different dimensions, to basically the setting the goal or developing consensus on a goal. So words, and I take Stephen Lau's uh, expression, synergizing action. I think what he meant, and correct me if I'm wrong, by talking about the child pornography, is that we have actually moved now to a sufficient consensus that this must be addressed that we can get next year into a more active format. And I would there here to make a suggestion format. Some of the rooms up here were large square tables that can host about 15 people. Could we explore a format that would be a group discussion, a public group discussion, on this issue, for instance, picking 15 actors that have been active in the last three years in one category or the other, and make them exchange on how to cooperate better later on, operationally, one suggestion. The third point is, yes, let's not fear the multiplication of dynamic coalitions. I can imagine that people are saying, wow, another dynamic coalition. I want to mention that this week, a certain number of dynamic coalitions that have been created separately have decided that actually they can merge or cooperate or restructure themselves. This is another illustration of the capacity of organically evolving the groups in a much more flexible manner than any setting up of working group, task force, study group that we can do another. And this is another benefit of this organic network. On dynamic coalitions, the last point, it apparently works best when the actors are not only sharing an issue, but when they have a common goal with problems of implementation, or a common issue 
but opposing approaches. If you have a common issue that you're interested in, but nothing you want to do or no problem to solve, the dynamic coalition is not dynamic enough. And finally, in terms of um, formats of panels, we have almost involuntarily this morning explored a sort of hybrid where you had panelists that could make an introduction and then a discussion back and forth, which was sort of intermediary between the panels and the afternoon session. We could envisage next year to have this kind of format where we had a three-hour session but with a small panel introduction and a discussion afterwards. And finally, I think I'm very personally uh, pleased with the uh, interaction that took place on the national and regional IGFs. I'm very happy that it is gaining some traction and I hope the IGF network will develop nicely uh, in the next year. Thank you.